For more on these stories, I'm now joined by Mohammed Awais, a political expert in Washington, D.C. Mr. Awais, welcome to the program. Uh, to, be to begin with, do you know anything more than we do about the incident in Israel and the apparent suicide of an Israeli soldier during Sarkozy's farewell? You know, the Israelis are known, they are masters as, at the seat, uh, and uh, we, we may never know what happened. Uh, it could be an attempt maybe on uh, somebody there, whether uh, Sarkozy, uh, because of his positions, latest positions uh, in the West Bank and in the front of the Israeli Knesset, or maybe against uh, the Prime Minister of Israel. Uh, that is something that I don't count on the Israelis, you know, telling the truth. Uh, now they are saying he committed suicide. Some uh, of them say uh, he fell off of the building or he shot, we were shot off of the building. Uh, this is something we'll never know the truth about it. So I really wouldn't uh, go there. And uh, at least there was an incident. Uh, there was uh, a penetration of the security apparatus of the Israelis, whether suicide or uh, homicide or assassination, there was something that they failed at. Now, we have uh, world powers, including Israel's biggest ally, the United States, calling on Israel to stop settlement activity because it's an obstacle to peace. Why is Israel then so reluctant to listen while it self-claims it wants peace with the Palestinians? You know, if Israel is uh, serious about peace, uh, in 1993, Yasser Arafat signed the Oslo peace deal with them, and since then, 36 percent, I mean, the settlements grew uh, by 36 percent, and they uh, built new settlements on Palestinian land. And in your report, somebody said uh, illegal settlements. All settlements are illegal. And the Israelis are continuing to build, and uh, that's the only thing they are good at, is building and uh, confiscating Palestinian land and not respecting agreements and treaties they had uh, with the Palestinians. Uh, so I don't pin uh, much hope, you know, on what the Israelis do or what the Europeans and their friends in America do or say about the Palestinian issue. If they are serious about it, they need to go in there, put United Nations troops uh, in between the parties and make sure that the Israelis uh, pack, back up and leave, uh, leave the Palestinian areas and give the Palestinians inside Palestine proper, which they call Israel, give them their rights. Uh, recently, Israel and Egypt made a deal to keep the Rafah crossing closed until the fate of an Israeli soldier is made clear. The question is, what about the fate of um, hundreds, if not thousands, of Palestinians um, in Israeli custody? You know, uh, I mean, it, what makes me really wonder, I mean, what is Egypt up to? Uh, they negotiated the, uh, a peace deal or not a ceasefire deal between uh, the Palestinians and the Israelis. And at the same time here, they keep the borders crossing closed. They want to help the Israelis uh, really uh, starve the Palestinians into submission. And uh, really, from what I see, I think it's a plot uh, by, uh, you know, the, uh, the American puppets in the region uh, to really bring the Palestinians uh, on their knees, not to the negotiating table. They are not uh, interested in peace. And uh, I think uh, what happened today uh, by uh, what Olmert said at the conference uh, with uh, Hosni Mubarak, uh, he said uh, that we will keep the borders closed. And unfortunately, the Egyptians agreed with them, and they are going to continue the blockade on the Palestinians uh, to serve the purpose of the Israelis. Now, what is your assessment of the state of truce between Israel and Hamas? Uh, we're getting news of more Palestinians being killed there. And has there been any notable improvement in the daily life of people in, uh, in the Gaza Strip? No, absolutely not. It's to the contrary. Uh, now uh, the Palestinians are becoming easy prey to the Israelis. Uh, the world thinks that uh, the, the borders are open and the food is coming in and the Palestinians are able to travel. Uh, uh, while on the grounds there, there is nothing happening except uh, uh, killing and uh, what happened in the, in the West Bank. To me, there is no difference between the West Bank and Gaza. If there is a truce, it should be extended to all over uh, the world even, not just uh, to, to, to Palestine or to Syria or to Lebanon. They need to suspend all their operations uh, for peace or otherwise uh, that, that gives, if they do not support or uh, they, they respect what they agree on, then they leave the door open for others, uh, like the Palestinians or others, uh, to retaliate uh, uh, in self-defense. Mohammed Awais, political expert in Washington, D.C., thanks for appearing on the show.